Alright, this is going to be an updated tutorial on exporting levels. So it is relatively easy. You open up the level you want. We have uh, downtown streets. We go over to the hop file. And you want to go to these BSP layers. And I suggest organizing so that they all go to one spot. And as we click through these, these are part of the level terrain. So we want to edit data, ex select export textures, and export. And I usually use the Colada DAE. Go to wherever you want to put it. I made a folder here for it. And you just export the three parts. The BFBB game uses three parts. Um, the movies, the SpongeBob movie game uses up to like 25 parts for your level. So you'd have to manually do them one by one by one. But whenever you get your level exported, we can go over to Blender and we can start importing this. So you import whatever format I use a DAE and you just start selecting your parts. And once you have all of them, we can turn on viewport shading and now you have your level. Um, if you want to delete walls or whatever, you're able to do that. And here we go. Um, these are the built-in shadows. So whenever we zoomed out, it'll look bad. But whenever you're up close, it'll be fine. So here we have the level. We can export this as just downtown. And whenever we delete everything and we import it again, it'll come in just fine. So now we have the level. What if we want the stuff inside of the level? Well, IP has this export scene feature and you can select uh, a format. So we'll do export, select this. Okay. have some errors, several errors. It should be exported. So now we should be able to import. And it, as you can see, it did its best attempt at exporting everything. So um if you're able to import all of these they should import fine i don't think i don't know if blender supports several imports at once all right this is just a little add-on to the video so i found a script that lets you import several dae files at once which lets us get just about everything in the level to be in Blender. So we come over to scripting and here's the script. Uh, you just, for yourself, you have to change the path to wherever you put it. So mine is on desktop level export with all the, wherever you exported the scene in an industrial part. And whenever that is done, you want to run script. And this might take a few minutes to go and import everything but it will also save after each import so that in case it crashes you don't have to re-import everything over and over and over again and that is it as we can see we have the whole level just about everything that ip could export did import into here and if we look at this level i got to type go all the way down to the bottom see that there is 758 of these and I have 737 but I deleted some objects like the invisible walls and some stuff but it does its best to import just about everything so there you go